Hey y'all, hey, hey, this is Pam of B-Fit for you, honey. I'm in here in this B-Fit culinary lab, <laughs> experimenting. Thought I'd take y'all on the ride with me. Honey, I keep coming across this thing on my TikTok because I'm over there. I put my links on here so y'all can catch me on TikTok because if Facebook ain't your thing, you can catch me on TikTok. I also included my link for YouTube because, you know, everybody going to stream and everybody don't hang out the same clubs and I get that. So, I've been seeing this grinder sandwich, and honey, you know, my taste for something, once I get it, I gotta try it. It kind of reminds me of the sandwich that I get at Witch Witch. It's a sandwich shop here in Texas. You may have them where you're, where you're at. I don't know where they are, uh, you know, nationwide or whatever, but honey, I had to jump on this bandwagon and make it here in the B-Fit Culinary Lab. Yeah, so I've already got everything prepped. It's kind of simple, easy to make. So y'all bear with me. I got all my little ingredients here. So let's get at it. So first thing, yes, I love me some Hellman's. You can use any type of mail that you like to use. Some people like Dukes. Uh, I used to be real big on Miracle Whip, but I found out that's a little sweet, has a lot of sugar in it. Mayonnaise period has, but that really, Miracle Whip had a lot. But if that's what you do, go right ahead and do it. <laughs> go right ahead and do it. Got my mayo in there. I'm going to put a little splash of red, red wine. It's a vinegar. Just a splash. And I have some Olive Garden Italian mix. That's going to get this little zing on it when you're cooking it in the oven. I said I prepped everything. Didn't know I didn't take, had to take it the top off of this. It's all right. We're going to get into it. Ain't gonna, I ain't going to be before y'all long like they say at church. Just a little splash. And you can make this recipe your own. I've seen 50, 11 different types of ways that this was made. I like using this. This is a... Jardinera, Gardinera, I never pronounce it right, but honey, it kicks. It comes with a good flavor. You can use it on sub. I use it in salad. I use it on different types of meat when I cook it. I'm just going to put a little bit. I have a spicy one and a mild. I'm just going to go in with the mild one today. Not going to use a lot of it. <coughs> what are y'all making today? What are y'all cooking? Honey, what are y'all doing? Some fresh ground pepper. Yeah, it will pick it up a notch. I like a little kick. Just a tad. And I got my sea salt right here. I'm gonna do a couple little sprinkles. Got my little spoon. And mix it up. I'm doing an eyeball game. This is not with a recipe. Nobody that's actually doing it. I didn't see anyone measure it out. So it's kind of like a consistency. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm good at, you guys. I'm going to put a little bit more of Miracle Whip. I mean, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to use my helmet. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I was stuck on using Miracle Whip forever. So y'all just bear with me. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen, I like the way this looks. It's all about a consistency for me. Okay. Next thing that goes in, that I'm going to put in, is the red onions. Some pepperoncinis. And I used a little bit of the juice from the pepperoncinis. Here I have cleaned and chopped up some iceberg lettuce. And you use whatever you like. I also seen it with um, like a mixed green someone used. So, I mean, you just make it however you want to. This is your sandwich. It's in your kitchen. Just have, do whatever you like. I think I'm going to put a little bit more salt, a little more sea salt on this, and a little bit of um, more ground pepper. It's all about consistency, what I see in the bowl, what I see in the pan. Yeah. Yeah, so let me do that, and then I'll show you guys exactly what it's looking like. 
Now this is what they call the slaw that goes on it. So you want to make sure it is delicious. Okay. I'm gonna give that a little spin, honey. Yeah, TikTok will have me out here making everything. It'd be so delicious. And I like doing research so I can bring, you know, new things to here on Beef It For You. And it don't help that I have, you know, once my taste buds get the tap dancing, baby, <laughs> I got to try it. I got to try it. So that's what we're working with. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to move this out the way. Hold on, you guys. Okay, so I'm doing mini. I'm gonna set that right here because that goes on the end. I decided to use like some smaller little sub bread from the deli, from the bakery, and I've already buttered it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in with my salt free garlic and herb seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on here. Just a tad. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. And once again, you can use whatever season that you would like to use when you're making this. This I just love because it doesn't have salt in it. And it has a good mixture of different seasonings with the herbs in it. Baby, yeah. So now I'm going to do is start layering. I actually chose pepperoni oven roasted turkey and what we call here at ATV fall off the ham fall off the bone ham and those are my meats so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that on put it on the bigger one Pam put it on the bigger one it's trial and error we're doing an experiment but it's gonna be delicious I promise you <laughs> It is going to be delicious. I got my ham. Put my ham over here. I got another piece. I didn't want to put too much on here because you know there are many. But I will make sure I got my uh, enough meat. Y'all know I love me some meat. I got my oven roasted turkey. I'm going to put that on here. And I already got my oven. I'm just going to take about five minutes, you know, till the meat and cheese, the cheese actually melts. And then we're going to get into it, honey. I'm gonna be, I ain't going to be before y'all long, I promise you. I know y'all getting your mind and soul and body ready for work tomorrow. Okay. It's a little raggedy on how I put this meat on her, but I bet you it's going to be good. I bet you that. <laughs> All right, and the cheeses that I chose is I got cheddar, mild cheddar, and I have a pepper jack, and I have Kobe, Kobe jack. Y'all, don't make fun. Don't judge me about this assembly. It's all just eyeballing and just looking, okay? Honey, I, I told y'all, I, I watched so many of these. I was like, Pam, just go on in the kitchen and get it done. You're you, you waiting too long. This is going to be a whole nother fad by the time you go ahead and show the people how, how you do it in here. So, you guys, that's how I got it done. For me, I got to have a little more seasoning. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of this garlic seasoning on top of the meat. Make it your own. Just because you see a recipe don't mean you got to copycat it down to the T. You make it how you want to make it. So now I'm going to put it in for about five minutes, honey, so let this cheese, you know, get ooey gooey. We're going to come back, put the slaw on there, and put some fresh tomatoes on it because I'm from Texas. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's in. I want to turn my oven light on so I can see the magic happening. I got one last thing. It's my good old fresh tomato. Get it chopped up. Get it seasoned up. Y'all, when you come in the room, let me know you're here. Tell me where you... Just say, hey, I'm in here. I'm in here and I'm watching. I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'm sharing. Because sharing is caring. 
Yes. I had another knife. I see it. Hold on, you guys. That is not my that is not my cut knife. That's like just one of my little knives. That ain't that wasn't even about to get it. I need to get busy with this tomato. Yeah, see, cutting like butter. We in there now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we in there. I love me some tomatoes. I could eat these just with some salt and pepper. Yeah. Just like a little snack. Just some salt and pepper on these tomatoes. Call it, just call it a whole little snack, a little healthy snack. Another reason why, y'all, I wanted to make this sandwich because growing up, when we would have, like, it's summertime and we would have sandwiches, honey, it wouldn't be nothing like this in no stove, in no oven. We would have this, uh, I remember this, we would have Town Talk bread because that would be fresh. It was Miss Baird's, and then they started making this Town Talk bread so delicious. And then my mom would go to, it was a little uh, place, like a little not like a corner store but like a little store it's called chapman's and we will get uh go to the go to the deli and have them cut uh press ham if you don't know what that is <laughs> try. yeah i'll tell you boy what i'm telling you get you some press ham some mayo on the sandwich Woo! and then get you some chips Get you a cold drink or some Kool-Aid. That's what that was the thing growing up. You had some Kool-Aid. If you got a soda, it was it was a holiday. So yes. And if you didn't get Kool-Aid, then it was, you know, water. So yes, y'all, it is melting. Ooh, it's smelling so good, so good, so good. So I gotta get ready. I gotta get ready, y'all. <laughs> My mouth. So y'all gotta let me know if y'all make this, let me know. Honey, we I just can't be the only person that was seen this on TikTok and was thinking, you know, should you try it? I mean, I guess you have to be like a, a, a foodie or a sandwich uh, person. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> you just have to like have a taste for it, I guess, or a desire for it. And honey, I had the desire for it. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get a thing to put up that tomato. So that won't be sitting around. I am trying to keep combating this heat. Only reason why I got this oven on because it only takes a couple minutes for the cheese to um, melt. <clears throat> and I get it at the deli. Another thing that um, I had got lazy, y'all. I had stopped shredding my um, my cheese, and I knew better growing up. I knew because the, the packaged cheese comes with like a, a product on it to keep it from aging or to uh, expire, so they have like a caking to keep it from sticking, and I had gotten lazy, but honey, that Amazon Prime had a little thing on it. I got me a whole grinder, so y'all gonna see me grinding some cheese. Just just come on in and join, sure. This is a, the lady is at it again at Beef It For You, and she over there grinding some cheese. But believe me, if I am, I'm gonna be making a delicious treat, a delicious um, deal, meal. <laughs> I can't even get it out because my mouth is thinking about so many different things I'm gonna be making with that cheese grinder. It even will let me grind and make my own cookie crumbles, like if I want to. And I got to do another pie down. I haven't done that in a while, and I just keep saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. So y'all just log on and just watch it, okay? I don't know. I want to make this key lime pie. I wasn't real big on it, but just like anything else, you go somewhere, you have it one or two times, or you have it one time, you share it with somebody, and you're like, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. That's what had happened to me. I tried it and I kind of like it, but I would like to put my own spin on it. So I'm going to use some biscotti cookies. I'm going to crumble it up and make that as my base. Mm hmm. Yeah. So y'all stay tuned and, and watch out for that because it's coming. I just got to I just gotta make time, carve out time to do it. I have so many ideas and I want to thank y'all again for sending me the recipes. I have to like go, now it's like a lottery. I have to put it into a thing and pick out which one I'm going to make or do. 
So I want to thank y'all again for sending me recipes, your ideas, things you want me to make or try here on Be Fit For You. I am elated and blessed because y'all, y'all, y'all follow the instructions. I said, hey, because starting this out, I just didn't want it to be all about me. I wanted to see what it was that maybe y'all like, y'all want to see me make. And honey, the struggle has been real, but it has been rewarding. So I'm glad that y'all got on board and got me those recipes. So honey, let me check and see how well, how melted this cheese is. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, yes, so we good to go. We good to go. Hold on. I got one more thing, y'all. One more thing. I got my fine silver out. My fine china. Not silver. I got my fine china out today. So, <laughs> as for one of my followers said, she called me my fine china. So that's what I am going to be using today for this. All right, you know what? I sliced up those tomatoes. I need to dress them. I need to get some salt and pepper on them. Hello, cousin. Hello. You gonna make this? I know you done seen this sandwich on TikTok like I have 50, 11 times. I had to go ahead and make it. Get those tomatoes salted and pepper, honey. Y'all done got fancy. I went and got me a grinder. I want to get me one that I seen them on Amazon when they had the Prime Day, the little electric or the battery, op battery operated ones. And I still hadn't, I still hadn't got there yet. I still ain't got there yet because I'm so old school and I'm just like, you know, I was taught if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It is not broke yet, so I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely okay. Well, honey, look at here. Let me get a let me get a, a thing to set. I know this is granite, but I still don't like setting stuff on it. I'm still on I'm still on kickstands and training wheels with this granite, honey. <laughs> Even though it's like, it'll be able to take the heat, it'll be able to take hmm. You ain't gonna make me a lie. Look at there, y'all. Look at there. Hold on. I'm gonna bring it. Y'all, it smell good too. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Look at that. Ooh, honey. Okay, let's go on and get it dressed up. I know y'all, y'all waiting to see it, honey. We're gonna get I'm finna, I'm I'm finna, I'm finna play it in 80. Come on. <laughs> I'm about to. I'm just, you know, shocked. You know, you make something and it, it turned out right. Because I'm all about appearance. If it don't look right, mm-mm. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Let me get this fine china. I don't know if y'all watch one of my Beef It For You lunches. This, uh, anytime I eat a sandwich, I gotta have a crunch. I am cooking a grinder sandwich that is on TikTok. That's the, they say it's like the, the trending thing. But I, back to my story, anytime I eat a sandwich, honey, I gotta have a crunch. I gotta have, you know, some chips. So if y'all go back and look at one of my Beef It For You lunches, I encourage you to do that because honey, I'll be so funny on lunch. I can't wait to get to lunch sometime so I can just talk to y'all. But anywho, I had, uh, I can't remember what I took that day, but I had ate the chips for breakfast. Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I ate the chips. So when it came to lunchtime, I didn't have a crunch. So I went to a little corner store and I like some spice. So this is your first time you've seen me. I like it spicy. I went down there to get me, I don't even remember what I was going to go get, but they didn't have it. And I ended up having to get these. Some jalapeno ranch by Ruffles, honey. So that's what I'm going to eat with this today. So y'all remember, I like a little spice. I like it spicy. Okay. Whew. So I'm going to take this. Take one of these. I just wanted y'all to see that, honey, how I had it prepared, honey. Get in there, smell it. Do a scratch and sniff. Y'all remember them little, them little stickers you used to have in elementary, they put them on your paper? <laughs> I'm gonna put one on Facebook. So let's get in here to this assembly. <laughs> I'm gonna try to so y'all can see. 
Now, y'all know I love me some tomatoes. So, honey, I'm going to put that right there. Bam. Let me get in the spoon. There's my spoon. Y'all, my mouth. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just going to put that slaw in there. That's what they call it. Yes, whoo, honey. Now, y'all know the way these braces are set up. I'm going to be careful, y'all. I got to put this in the refrigerator. Hold on, hold that thought. Y'all going to see me plate and eight. I'm going to say a little grace. Boom, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't want that to be wilting away. Okay. Y'all know I got to keep a clean station. All right, y'all. Look at that cheese. Oh, my God, that looks so good. Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me. Y'all know what? Hold on. Hold that thought. Mm -mm. We're going to do this right. We're going to do this orderly. Hold on. Hold on. Hold that thought. <laughs> I looked at it, and I was like, wait a minute. There's something missing. Hey, if I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it right. Hold on. Just give me about a couple seconds for this butter to melt. Yes, Lord. Yeah, I got some window lake butters. Butter. Honey, I'm hungry. This is my first meal of the day. I'm telling y'all, I be drinking my water. It curbs my appetite. I'm not starving. I'm not shaking. Um, I'm okay. My working out, drinking my water. It's healthy. And I want y'all, hey, cousin, hey, you staying hydrated? Look, okay, so this is my little, I got this at Amazon. Not on the Amazon Prime Day. I've been having this. But see, I'm at 3 o'clock. I'm, I'm doing bad. It's like, what time is it, y'all? It's, it's almost 3 o'clock, so I'm right where I need to be. I'm right where I need to be. All right, hold on, hold on. So, I got some butter. Some melted Land Lake butter. And I'm going to put a little bit of this soft free garlic and herb in it. Because watch this magic. Watch. Well, it ain't magic, but it's in my, it, hey, I'm in my B-Fit culinary lab and we're doing an experiment. <laughs> so I'm going to make me a little splash, a little dressing to go. <laughs> Tear your mouth out. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me go and see. I'm going to cut it. Y'all hear that? Look at that. You hear that crunch? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Woo, yes, Lord. Stay together. Stay together so you can show the people. Show the people. Hold on, hold on. That cheese is holding on, y'all. Look at there. Look at that Kobe Jack. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to keep it pretty. All right. Baby, tell me. I don't be watching them videos, honey. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> tell me I don't be watching them. <laughs> research, research. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for everybody that's here on the live. Thank you, Lord, for those that come by on the replay. I ask that you let this food service nourishment to my body. Bless the hand and prepare the labor for it. Amen. 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 All right. Okay. Woo, honey. Thank you, God. Mmm. 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 My God. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. The tanginess of the red wine vinegar and the Olive Garden um, dressing, my word, honey. Mm. 
think if I would have had this sandwich growing up, I think I would have ate more sandwiches. <laughs> I think I got burned out. We ate the same pressed ham. That or tuna fish. I'm trying to think what other sandwich we used to eat growing up. Pressed ham, tuna fish. Some of my family used to eat spam. I ain't never, I ain't never get on that boat. I ain't never like spam, so you couldn't get me to get that one. I have my two links added on here, you guys. I'm learning this thing. I have my YouTube link, and I also have my TikTok link. So, like I say, everybody stream how they stream, and some, you know, go if you if you're a TikTok person, go on over there and bless me and support me over there. If you YouTube, go on over there and, and bless me and support me over there. I appreciate it. Now, if you just like me and I'm all over the place because I'm always trying to find out and stay in the know. Support me on all those levels, honey. Please and thank you. Let me do one more couple bites. Well, let me get in this chip, y'all. Yes, Lord. Y'all know how long I have been looking for these chips. Baby, the, the little corner store had me out in the daylight with a flashlight. H-E-B just got them. Or maybe they was out of them when I was looking for them. My Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, one more bite. One more bite. Got to be careful with these braces, honey. Mm, 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 mm. One more bite. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, one more, just one more. Just one more bite. Okay. All right. All right. I'm done. I'm gonna get out y'all hair. But honey, y'all gotta go and make this. You see, it was kind of quick. I've tried to prep everything so I'm going to be before y'all alone. Y'all going to pass around the, the uh, offering tray now. <laughs> Go and put some money on there and pass it around and send it on over here to Be Fit For You. Let, this, let the words of Be Fit For You, if it's touched you in any way, <laughs> let me stop playing. But for real. But anywho, thank y'all for joining me. I am Pam. This is Be Fit For You. Be Fit For You spiritually. Be fit for you emotionally, be fit for you physically, and definitely be fit for you financially. And hey, like I said, go ahead and share this with your family, your friends, your co-workers, and your neighbors too. They need to know about this delicious over here in the Be Fit Culinary Lab. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. Love y'all. See y'all the next time.